you said in one of the narrations that millets we need to be careful uh, not to give excessive millets in case of a uh, high vata pitta prakriti person on or in disorders with the high vata and pitta why there is precaution required sir see these uh, millets have been told in ayurveda as trina dhanyas we know that all these dhanyas are from the grasses trina then why specifically acharya has mentioned for this trina dhanya the indication is that trina here with specificity refers to the energy output from that means it is very little trina means very little so dhanya is also very small and the output of energy from that is also very small and it is very ruksha in nature compared to the other like red rice or something like that or wheat or something like that so then these type of highly fiber content ruksha dravyas and which gives a less nourishment consuming it for a longer period definitely the person if it is obese and with lot of kapha kleda in him then no issues but for a person like vata pitta ja or pitta vata ja nature with a modern mediocre body and body bulk is comparatively less in such a person if he start consuming millet initially there will be no issues but as early as possible he may develop little bit issues like first abdominal cramps then later he develops there is a pain in the joints means all the joints will start showing the vata vardhana lakshanas so in order to avoid those things i suggest them to go with this and still if you want to go with that type of things with a less content and little bit of ghee has to be added in order to reduce its rukshata and that component will not improve the uh, increase the vata in the body but it all um, that's the reason acharyas have kept these trinadhanyas aside they are given importance to red rice raktashali and all these things type things hypermarketing and you know tv ads and the newspaper ads have become you know it, it becomes it makes the ayurvedic uh, you know ayurvedic doctors life very difficult because every other uh, patient will be asking about millets repeatedly i not only hire the doctor it's every doctor usually nowadays everything is kept open in the google and these type of things uh, the platforms where lot of information regarding health and all those things are available whether it is a true or false that is secondary available so they'll read all those things and they'll come out with lot lot of questions it's very common even for the allopathy doctor it may be sometimes they will answer it and they sometimes they say i don't want to answer these these things you just uh, take these prescriptions what i have given they will send off the patient so that is the reason uh, we too also have a lot of uh, such type of uh, questions many a times and of course if you guide them in a proper manner then they will be somewhat convinced and uh, such type of uh, counseling is also required basic thing is that we need to understand what exactly the preachings of ayurveda and to what level we need to do it and whom to do it why to do it if we do all these things and we know the checks and balances where to do it and where to stop it then the, the things will be in a right direction